Yo guys, welcome to my Trails of Cold Steel side quest guide, Spina by Road Monster. So you want to teleport to Spino Road, and this is where all the treasure locations are, and the fishing spot, and the quest monster. So I'll probably just show you guys where they all are, I'll cut out the fights and stuff. So essentially we just want to head up here, and then we're going to stick to the right path. And then just run down here, and you're going to have a uh, fight chest coming up. I just used Fee's S break and it pretty much killed everybody and yeah, it's pretty much that. So then you get a J Zeus gem, I think is what that was. Yep. Now there's a fishing spot here too. You can get a new fish here called the catfish, I think. So uh, once you do that, then you can uh, move on. I'll just throw my rod in the water here and then continue on here. So once you do that, you just want to run back down to the end of the path, and then we'll go the other way. Thank God for turbo mode to make this go by a little faster. So there's a monster here, and then there'll be a chest right behind him. I almost missed it. I was like, wait, there should be a chest here. So you get some ground bait. And then essentially, we're just running to the end of this path, and the boss should be up here. And there's going to be a chest as well. Another fight here. Uh, my guy's gear wasn't that good. I'm going to upgrade weapons after I get back to town to do this video and stuff. Because uh, some of my weapons are a little outdated. So there's a chest here. And then here's the quest monster. So I'm not going to show this whole fight because it's pretty long because these guys are tanky. But I'll uh, let you guys know their moves and like the strats that I use. So for their moves, they have a few... One, they will like lick you with their tongue and then pull you in. Uh, one's just a melee attack. And then they use an ability called Stone Breath that will petrify your character. So if you have any gear that prevents your guys from being petrified, it will help. But they shouldn't really get it off too much. I've had it happen twice. And if you have Elliot's uh, AoE heal thing, I forget what it's called. As long as he doesn't get petrified, he can he cure it off everybody. So the strategy for this fight was, is I'm delaying them as much as I can because they're really slow. I ended up using Fee instead of um, the gun guy Malakoas or whatever his name is because she has the slow ability with her one attack. You can also ignite these guys. I was never successful at it, but I kind of stopped trying because their attacks were so slow that it's like eh, ignite's not really worth it. And that's pretty much it for my strats for the beginning part. And then at the end, I was just kind of getting annoyed how slow the fight was going. So I started experimenting with magic attacks, and I found that Aqua Bleed worked pretty good against them. So I just started pounding them with magic because it seemed like it was doing a lot more damage than a physical attack. But you can't do that through the whole fight unless you have a lot of items to keep it full because this will take a little while. I waited for like buffs on the sidebar to be good, like crit and stuff before I used my S breaks. S breaks helped, but it wasn't like crazy. And then debuffed their armor and tried to keep my guys health full healthful and strength up just to make it easier. Uh, I never used resounding beat in this one, but it would be a useful one as well. Because it would keep your guys healed up as well, but I essentially moved Reen to the side of him so I can hit him both with Arc Slash and kind of just spammed him with Arc Slash and used uh, her to Blessed Arrow to keep his CP full until the CP ran out and then I kind of had one of them dead by that point. But yeah, that's pretty much the fight. It's really easy, it just takes forever. And then after the fight's over, you just want to run back to town and I'll show you guys the path to get to the quest NPC. Alright, so once we get back to town, here's the path to get to the quest NPC. And uh, yeah, that would be the end of your quest. If you guys have found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. It'll help the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day. This way leads to Marquis Rogner's mansion. So that's where Jellica's stubborn old man lives.